Hello guys, welcome. It's John Omale here, aka the poster, not the iBooster the poster. And today we are going to learn how to create this kind of test effect on Canva. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go over to my text, bring in a new text, add it, add it. and then I will edit, let's say design. Let's just use the word design. I'll just increase the size. Uh, I like using this font um code pro. So I'll just change the font. This one I selected now it's object sounds for some reason the name is not displayed so what we're going to do is we'll go to our effects go to our outline so click on outline click on it again and then you can increase this depending on how you want your thickness to be you can increase or you decrease so i want it to be around 150. i'll now click on the color that's the place there then I'll click on black you understand so it has that effect you go to color and i can change it to blue or white it's done since our background is white i want it to be white so and that's done i'll duplicate it the same design i'll duplicate the same design place it on top and then i'll go to my effects go to shadow then i'll adjust it i'll increase the offset make the direction increase the blur a little bit bring out the transparency and go to my color make it dark why because i wanted to have a shadow effect you understand i believe you can see the effect of it but now although it's good like this why you can leave it like that or you can send it to the back to give the give it a shadow at the back of the design you can see the shadow if you zoom in see the shadow effect so that's that and then the final thing we are going to do go to the add button go to your elements and click on circle circle and just circle the house the circle for you so there's a circle right here and just click on circle and then click on the shape the first of the so zoom out don't write anything just zoom out all right and then let's bring our shape to the front and then i'm going to go to my color i'm going to change it to white right i'm going to change it to white and then i'm going to click on it again and then there's this stuff here called gradient Okay. at this point where my um, stuff is showing where my two bar is showing right it goes to the gradient right there and then you see you have two colors so i'll click on the second one that's a bit darker and then i'll reduce this transparency at the bottom to zero here's the transparency area here. so i'll bring it to zero making it having only white so i'll change the format to the second style here click on that and then i'm going to rotate it totally like 90 degrees i'll bring it right here bring it down and then you see, I'll zoom in to get expand it to the end of the design. Use the space and I can see it so it goes well. I'll move it again and I hit that. So here I have it. So I guess it's just touch me to the transparency, you just make it 50. So design. So that's how to create a dope text effect like this using. Thank you so much for watching. Like and follow for more.